God, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Praise be to Him, the Creator and the Sustainer. I begin in His name, glorified be He. I begin by sending my peace and blessings upon Muhammad and his holy progeny and by sending my condolences to the Imam of my time, Imam al-Mahdi al-Muntadar. May Allah hasten his reappearance. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, in the previous episode, we spoke of some of the meaning behind the names of Sayyida Fatima, peace be upon her. We spoke of the meaning behind the name Zahra and we saw the beautiful description let forth by Imam al-Sadiq, peace be upon him. We saw the way Sayyida Fatima, peace be upon her, used to blossom for Amir al-Mu'mineen three times a day. She would blossom and radiate for Amir al-Mu'mineen three times a day and she would spend the day in the mihrab praying and supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today, we will be discussing another one of Fatima's names. Fatima to Zahra can be called as the first writer in Islam. You see, Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her, had written what is called Mus'haf of Fatima. This Mus'haf of Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her, is a Mus'haf that Sayyidah Fatima had written because the angels would narrate to Fatima, they would narrate to Fatima from the Lord, they would narrate to Fatima narrations about the Quran and so on. Henceforth, Sayyidah Fatima, peace be upon her, can be considered to be the first compiler of a book or writer of a book in Islam. Hence, Sayyidah Fatima is given the name al muhaditha And tonight, we will be speaking of the secrets behind this name. We will be speaking about the secrets behind the name al muhaditha You see, Sayyidah Fatima, peace be upon her, has been given many names. And of these names was al muhaditha We will narrate to you from the Nas of Imam al-Sadiq, peace be upon him. Imam al-Sadiq, peace be upon him, in this hadith narrated by Ishaq ibn Ja'far ibn Muhammad ibn Isa ibn Zayd ibn Ali. He said, I heard my master, Abu Abdullah al-Sadiq, peace be upon him, say that Fatima al-Zahra is a muhaditha. Muhaditha in the Arabic language means one who narrates, one who reports traditions, reports hadith, reports story. But muhaditha, when I say you are muhadith, means you narrate to me and I narrate to you. Imam al-Sadiq said, I heard Abi Abdullah saying that Fatima was called a muhaditha because the angels would descend from the skies and salute her the same way they would do with Maryam ibn Imran. The same way that the angels would speak to Maryam, the daughter of Nabiullah Imran, they would do this or they would do so with Lady Fatima, peace be upon her. What would the angels say? The angels say, O oh Fatima, Allah has chosen you and purified you amongst the women of the world, amongst the women of the universes. O oh Fatima, raise your hands in prayer to your Lord, prostrate and bow down in obedience with those who bow down. Farka'i ma'ar 
This is what the angels tell Sayyida Fatima, peace be upon her. She would narrate. She would narrate from the angels and the angels as well would narrate from her. Let's continue the Nasr Imam Sadiq, peace be upon him. She would narrate to them and they would listen. One night, she asked them. This will get rid of the questions asked by those people who say in the Quran, well, it says that Maryam is Sayyidatu Nisa al Alameen. One night, she had asked them, is not Maryam ibn Umran the best amongst the women? The angels answered Fatima. They said Maryam was the best of her time only, specific time period. Whereas you, O Lady Fatima, you are the best of this time period, of the time period of Maryam. And the time periods from the beginning of Allah's creation until the end of time, you are Sayyidatu Nisa al Alameen, min al Awwalina wal Akhirin. O Lady Fatima, you are the maiden, you are the lady amongst all of mankind. You are the best of all of these ladies, O Fatima. This is the first report. The angels communicate with Fatima to Zahra. There is a narration as well that from a young age, also found, you can find this in, our, in the same volume of Bihar and Anwar, volume 43, which deals with Fatima to Zahra. From a young age, Fatima to Zahra would speak to the angels. After her mother's death, she felt oppression and sadness. She felt oppression and sadness. She felt very alone. Like a little girl around her father, she would ask him, where is my mother Khadija? Where is my mother Khadija, Ya Rasulullah? He, would, he wouldn't answer her. What would you ask? What would you tell your daughter if your daughter asked about her mother? Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to Rasulullah, peace be upon him and his holy family, he said, Give glad tidings to Fatima to Zahra. Give glad tidings to Fatima to Zahra because Khadija is amongst Asiya and Maryam and amongst the pious Huri women in heaven. She is living in a beautiful castle made of ruby and emerald. Then Fatima to Zahra says to Rasulullah, Tell Allah that from him is the salam. To him I give salam, and he is the salam. A young age, Sayyidah Fatima, peace be upon her, speaks to this way to Rasulullah. Let us go to the next report, narrated by Shaykh al-Saduq in his Ilal. The next report, which is found in the Ilal, al-Shara'i' by Shaykh al-Saduq The following is narrated by Salman Salman al-Muhammadi, Salman al-Farisi He said When Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr read the following ayah And we did not send before you any messenger or prophet until the end of the ayah The ayah that is found in chapter 22 verse 52 in the Quran Salman asked, Salman was asked, sorry, do the angels narrate only to the Prophet? Salman replied. Salman replied and said, Maryam was not a prophet, yet the angels narrated from Maryam. Maryam was not a prophet, yet she was a muhaditha because the angels narrated to her. Then goes to the mother of Moses, peace be upon him. The mother of Moses was not a prophet, but was a muhaditha, 
and the angels spoke to her. Allah revealed to her, told her, do not worry, O mother of Moses. Place him in the river and I will take care of it. Sarah. Sarah whom is what? The wife of Ibrahim and Nabi, peace be upon him. Sarah was also given glad tidings by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She was also a muhaditha. She was not a prophet. They gave her glad tidings of her son, Ishaq. And after Ishaq, Jacob, Ya'qub. Salman then says, Fatima, peace be upon her, is under the same category. Fatima is not a prophet, yet she is a muhaditha. Fatima was a muhaditha who used to speak to the angels and the angels spoke to her and she would write down everything that she heard from the angels. Shaykh al saduq says concerning this hadith, he says, Allah has reported in his holy book that he had not sent women to any nation as prophets. He subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, and we have not sent anyone before you except that they are men and we revealed to them. Allah has stated that He has not sent any prophets except that they are men. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had revealed to them. Allah has not stated in the Quran that the women who are muhaddithin are not messengers or prophets. Allah has not stated that a woman cannot be a muhaditha. Yes, the prophet and the messenger is a muhaddith. But does that mean that Sayyidah Fatima can't be a muhaditha and Maryam can't be a muhaditha or the mother of Moses or Sarah, peace be upon these pious women? Then he says, it has been narrated that Salman was a muhaddith. And someone had asked Imam al-Sadiq, peace be upon him. They had asked Imam al-Sadiq, peace be upon him, whom used to narrate to Salman. The Messenger of Allah, Imam al-Sadiq, peace be upon him, says, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and his holy family used to narrate to Salman, as well as the commander of the faithful, peace be upon him, used to narrate to him, he would become a muhaddith unlike any other muhaddith because they would narrate to him treasures and secrets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Treasures, treasures and secrets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Henceforth, <coughs> we see, we have, we see the description and the meaning behind the name muhaddithah. Fatima was a muhaddithah. She was a compiler and she has written a book that Imam al-Mahdi, may Allah hasten his reappearance, will come forth with this book for us, insha'Allah ta'ala. Insha'Allah the Imam will bring forth this book for us. These are some of the names of Fatima to Zahra. She has much more names and our time is very limited. Al-Zahra, al muhaddithah الراضية المرضية The one whom Allah is pleased with and the one whom is pleased with Allah. The one whom her pleasure is Allah's pleasure. Her anger is Allah's anger. Her love is Allah's love. Al-Batul, the chaste and the pure. al zakiya the pure. Fatima and Zahra. Beautiful names, beautiful names. My dear brothers and sisters, these are the names in which that we should name our children. Insha'Allah, our next episode, we will conclude this of the naming of Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her. And we will move on to another hadith of what did Adam see when he entered Al Firdaus Al A'la. Then, as promised, we will narrate to you the hadith of the Queen of Islam. How does Amir al-Mu'mineen treat Fatima al-Zahra, peace be upon her, 
ruhi lahu al-fida. Peace be upon you, my lady Fatima. And may Allah hasten the reappearance of our awaited Savior, Imam al-Mahdi al-Muntadar, Ajal Allah Ta'ala Farajah al-Sharif. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mm-hmm.